This is Second Ezra eight and sixty two. These things I these things have I not shown unto all men, but unto thee and a few like thee. Then answered I and said. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakah Kadash, Double Honor City Apostles and Elders, a great millstone, a salutation to you, Akim, pushing this word with truth, sincerity, with charity, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice, we who are ready to live, salute you. And I just want to go into a quick lesson, man, you know, um, I'm going to call it Welcome to Exclusiveness. Welcome to exclusiveness, okay? Because Yahweh Bashim Shai is not dealing with everybody, every Israelite. He hasn't revealed this truth unto every Israelite, okay? And that is for a reason, man. All right? That is for a reason, man. You know, the Lord uh, raised up certain men, lowly men, uh, uh, as the scripture says, um, the poor of this of this world, rich in faith, man. Okay, uh, scriptures also talk about the halt and maim are the ones that are going to be bidden to the marriage, man. Because the other ones that were bidden, they didn't um, they didn't you know answer the call, you know. But the Lord uh, raised up uh, lowly men, okay. Uh, as the scripture says, not many wise, not many uh, mighty are called. Okay, but the Lord raised up these lowly men who would uh, deliver the ordinances as they were delivered unto us. Okay, and um, they have a saying in the world that says, "In the wrong hands, this this weapon could be dangerous," and that's true. You know, see, the Lord put the Bible in everybody's hand, but He didn't put the understanding in everybody's hand, man. You can have the Bible, but you don't have the spirit, okay? Well, you, well, you, you don't know how to use it, man. It's like, a, it's like a, um, reminds me of this, um, like in the movies, you, you'll have somebody, you'll get a hold of an alien gun. They're trying to fight the aliens. They get a hold of an alien gun. But when they get that damn alien gun, they can't even use it, man, because they don't know how to fucking use it. Only the aliens know how to use it, man. That's how this word is, man. Um that's how Yahweh Bashmi Asha made this word, man. All right, but in the wrong hands, it can be dangerous, man. Because what does the Lord say about two thirds of our people? He says, "Children." He calls them children that are corruptors, man. All right, it says, uh, "Unto the uh, defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure, man." See, a nigga will pollute any and everything, man. Okay, he'll pollute it. With his own bullshit, man. Which is what so many people in this world have done today, man. But the truth stands alone, man. You know, I was just reading First Ezra's earlier, man. Um, you know, what does Rubabel said? He said, wine is wicked, women is wicked, the king is wicked. And when he spoke about truth, he said, truth endureth forever, man. All right, is that no defiled thing can fall into it, man. So, hey, when when you know when when defiled things fall into this circle, the spirit quickly weeds it out, man, and and and, and peeps it, man. You know. But this is a very exclusive thing that we're a part of, man. This is not, um, you know, not everybody can 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 come into this, man. You know, but this is Matthews uh, 13 and 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. OK. So that goes to show you, man, the Lord is not dealing with everybody, man. OK. He's not dealing with everybody, man. Not everybody is going to uh, receive the knowledge and wisdom and understanding of the scriptures, man. Okay. Uh, what it, in, the, in the Jew in book of Judah says, these are spots in our feast of charity. Okay. Uh, uh, feeding themselves without fear, man. You know, here it is. We're, we're aristocrats, right? Which means the best rule, right? 
We all got table manners. We're speaking the King's English. All right. We know how to use our silverware. Then this motherfucker comes in with a dirty ass garment. Kick his feet on the table, man. You know, we got fine wine. This nigga throw a, a bottle of Paul Masson on the table, man. Okay. <laughs> hey, you finna get your ass kicked out, man. You know? But this is 2nd Ezra 12 and 36. Thou only has been meet to know the secrets, the seek, this secret of the highest. All right? He said, only, uh, uh, only you have you only have been a uh, 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 meat man, okay. I read this second Ezra's again. Uh, second Ezra eight sixty two. These things have I not showed unto all men, man. The Lord is not showing this word to all men. The true understanding, man. Or well, He's not letting them. He, 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 you're seeing it, but as the scripture says, seeing thou shalt uh, 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 see and not perceive, man. So it's going to go in one ear and out the other, like water goes in and out of a broken uh, vessel, man. It's going to pour right out on the floor, man, because it wasn't meant for you. Hey, uh, hey, like Scarface told Manny about his sister, she no meant for you, man. She no for you, man. Okay, hey, she no for you. All right, wisdom is not for you, man, For 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 you that are not meant to get it, man. All Israel is not of Israel, as the scripture says. But unto thee and a few like thee, then answered I and said, right? So the Lord's only showing uh, um, uh, this word to a select few, man. So we got to be careful who, uh, you know, you know, who, who we're dealing with, man. All right. Okay, this is uh, 2nd Ezra 16, all right, and 37. Therefore, write all these things that, it's lucky. Therefore, write all these things that thou hast seen in a book and hide them. <sighs> Excuse me. And teach them to the wise of the people whose hearts thou knowest may comprehend and keep these secrets. Okay. So a select few men. All right. A select few men are going to get this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. The scripture says, cast not your pearls before swine. Now, we're going to teach this word, of course. We're going to keep our speech seasoned with salt. But the word is the, is the sword, man, that's going to cut you open. It's going to reveal your innards, man. You know, to quote my uh, uh, um, my, my, my brother in his glory, uh, Captain Lee, you know, it's going to see what's to you, man. You know, this word is going to see what's to you, man, what's in you, man. Second Timothy's 2 and 2, and these things... Thou has heard of me, these things that thou has heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men, right? Faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Faithful men, not men that are going to corrupt the word, man. You know, and the scripture says there's many that, that, are, uh, that corrupt the word, you know, children that are corruptors, man. You know, it makes me think about the time I was uh, teaching at camp uh, when I was in Chicago and one of my old friends, my childhood friends, he was like my best friend, man. And I saw him, you know, while I was on the line and, um, you know, he had questions and I tried to explain them you know, what we're doing and what we're, you know, what's going on. And he basically said some, yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm gonna rewrite the Bible. I'm gonna rewrite it. And, that, and that's what a nigga would do, man. That's what we're, we're watching niggas try to do it right now, man. Trying to rewrite the scriptures, man. You know? Trying to add their own shit to it, to it man. You know, but you can't... Um, uh, you, you, you can't do that, man. 
Okay, you can't you can't do that, man. The, the Lord is not gonna um, allow His word to be corrupted, man. You know, so this is exclusiveness. This is a uh, 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 an exclusive circle, man. Scripture says, "Have one ca uh, counselor out of a thousand, man." You know, this is very exclusive, and it says, "If thou get us a friend, prove him first, man." You know. So you're going to be tried and you're going to be proven to see if you're meat for this army, for David's army. Okay. A little lesson I want to do. Uh, hope it was edifying. Um, shalom. Shalom. <laughs>